hi guys and welcome back to my channel I just wanted to talk to you today about something that is very close to home so I don't think I'll cry but I might get angry I just wanted to talk to you today about something that is very close to home so I don't think I'll cry but I might get angry <laughs> Um, and the reason why I'm bringing this to you is because this week on Channel Mum has been Yana Week, which stands for You Are Not Alone. Today, I just wanted to talk about the thing in my life that makes me feel actually really alone, and that is my physical pain. Now, there are so many things about living with physical pain as a stay-at-home mum that are frustrating. If you have pain in your wrists, in your back, in your knee, wherever the pain might be, you might have fibromyalgia, you might have chronic fatigue or something similar. If you have a physical ailment that restricts you as a mum, you will know that it is such hard work. It's the hardest job you can do without being in pain and with the physical pain on top of it all, sometimes it can be exhausting and I know that I have sometimes felt alone. So. I just wanted to share my story and the things, some of the things that help and hopefully if there are some of you out there who are in a similar position to me that you would, you too will not feel alone and will be able to build a bit of a community about this. So I have two boys and they are 18 months apart so my pregnancies were quite close together and I in my second pregnancy noticed that when I was walking down the stairs my knee felt sore and I at first thought it was relaxing and that it would go away and after pregnancy it just didn't and it was really on my mind for a long time um, and then it get, got a bit better but then it got worse again so it's been on and off for two years. Yeah, it is so hard and frustrating. I think it's quite common to be in pain and partly this is just because being a mum is such a physical job. Not only if you've if you've carried your babies um, in pregnancy, you the toll that takes on your body, but even if you haven't, if you're an adoptive parent, looking after children is physical work. It's constant lifting out of high chairs or into car seats or pushing double buggies up hills or tripping over toys and dodging like the assault course of my lounge. The struggle is real. And I was not prepared for this as a mum going into motherhood. I just did not realise the toll that it would take on my body, all the lifting and all of that. The thing that makes me most frustrated, I think, is that it makes me a snappy mum. When you've got constant pain in your body and children are having meltdowns or requesting things or moaning and I don't want to sound negative but it is really when you're at when your body is just trying to cope and get on with it um I found that I think I think I'm a snappier mum because of the pain that I go through, that I experience and I don't want to be like that it's so frustrating I want I want to be able to enjoy this bit while my kids are young. I physically can't do what other mums do. I can't go and get in a soft play with them or um, I can't easily bend down and get up. Oh hang on, my sister's ringing. Hello, I'm trying to film a video. You're all right. All right, bye, love you, thanks, bye. Oh, I can't remember what I'm saying. Yeah, I feel so guilty about what I can't do with them for sure. I don't really have much advice only than the obvious. Um, so firstly, go to your GP and get some professional help, get looked at. Don't be afraid, don't think you're gonna be a nuisance. You have people in your home to look after and they rely on you so get yourself sorted out and seen by a medical professional. Other thing I would say is YouTube. Look on YouTube for videos that you can do for strengthening exercises. For me I've just typed in knee pain strengthening exercises and I do these every day to try and improve my um, mobility and strengthen my knee as I wake up in the morning and it's literally like <laughs> Straight. Definitely do exercises and do some research on how to improve strength in that area of your body. Talk about it. Get some people around you, whether it's an online community or of 
of other mums who are in a similar position. Don't be afraid of feeling like you're moaning all the time. I mean, unless you really are moaning all the time. But don't, don't feel like you're just going to piss people off because people around you should care about you. And if you're in pain and hurting, they're going to want to do something about it. And lastly, the other thing I would say, look after yourself, be kind to yourself. Make sure that you have a duvet day or eat the chocolate that you have in the cupboard or whatever you've got to do to relax. Go and see friends and have coffee and um, just be kind to yourself because that surely that is the least you can do to <laughs> make yourself feel a bit better on the inside even if your body is struggling. If you are in physical pain please feel free to contact me across the social medias and I would love to chat with you about it and to support you because it is so frustrating and can make you feel really isolated and I'd love to kind of get a bit of a community going about this. And I, the last thing I wanted to say was Channel Mum have just started a Facebook group recently and it's so lovely and supportive. And I posted something on there about being in pain and a few people got back to me relatively quickly to say they had a similar thing. So if you are feeling alone about anything, remember that you are not alone. And to join this Channel Mum group, it's such a lovely, non-judgmental, um, really encouraging group. And I would really recommend if you're a mum and you're feeling isolated in any area, of motherhood go and join the group and get to chatting introduce yourself people would love to meet you so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video